Welcome back to Drink, Smoke, Build. I'm Billy D, and today is the daily update. We've got a lot of different things to talk to you guys about too today. But first, let's play a little. a lot to talk to you guys about today basically kind of laying things out on how I plan on doing the channel from here on out and the content I'm gonna provide for you guys so we're gonna go for a little drive and we're gonna talk about that and uh, woo, went the third too early so first things first as you can tell, we are in the S10 today and taking it for a nice little joy ride around the block. Nothing too crazy, just getting out and enjoying this gorgeous Sunday afternoon in Oklahoma. So first on the list of the S10, now that we have it running, is going to be safety. As you can tell, this is not really the safest setup. I do have some poor ass attempt at half doors that the previous owner made that I could put on here, but I'm not really a fan of those. I would probably be going to the salvage yard here soon looking for a full set of doors because I want the window. I want the full door. So. I'm going to be looking for those soon and then on top of that I'm also going to be ordering a roll cage and having that put in or trying to put it in myself at least most of it so those are going to be pretty soon here on the list with the s10 but the very first thing as you can tell the exhaust is super loud because I noticed a hole formed a couple of days ago in the exhaust and it made it louder and I kind of like the sound and it's pretty much trash the exhaust so I'm gonna cut it off and straight pipe it uh, yeah I know 2.8 liter v6 <laughs> straight pipe you know what uh, give me all the shit you want in the comments I don't care anyway I most definitely am going to be doing quite a few things to this over the next few months but when it comes down to it, the main thing is I want it to be functional, I want it to run, I want it to be fun, but it is my work truck, so I need to make sure that we keep the functionality. So that's what we plan on doing with the S10, and then of course I'm going to strip this horrible shit can rattle job that was done and once I get it down to the primer if there is any primer then I will probably clear coat it and then dip it after that at least that's the plan because I don't really care what color is underneath because I will be dipping it multiple colors multiple different schemes just kind of mess around over the next couple of years but that's most definitely on the list. Also on the list, besides getting the body spruced up, is also replacing the grill with something uh, a little more aesthetically pleasing and not broken. The uh, plastic grill on this is broken, and I want to get rid of it and put something better in its place. And I've toyed with the idea of making a custom wood grill which I still might do, but I haven't exactly decided. I might take a not broken plastic grill and cut out the center and do a screen mesh behind it. Kind of like that look too. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But um, we do have other things on the update besides the S10 today. 
so let's go ahead and uh, get to that as we pull down the driveway. We'll do one last pull in the driveway before we do that. Say one last, one only pull. Get a little bit of spin. Yeah, we don't do that too often. We do some pulls, but man, dropping the clutch is a whole nother thing. <laughs> so here we are. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Somebody left me a beer and a packed bowl. I wonder who that was. I don't know. Let's go take a look. Smoke a little bit drink a little bit because you know this is drink smoke build so oh look at that I must be loved all right so you guys we're back on the homestead and we are gonna hit this bowl and drink this beer and we're going to go around and talk about some of the other projects we're going to be talking about today and make sure you stay tuned towards the end of this video because I'm going to be dropping a bomb on new content and basically my new job. And that's going to be what a lot of the new content is going to be about. So we will be getting to that here at the end of the video. But first, let's talk about the other projects we got. So of course, we have the S10, let me flip it around, which we have been talking about already. And as you can see, the grill is pretty jacked up in some places where it needs to not be jacked up for me to be able to do an, a cool screen behind it. So I will have to replace that regardless of what I decide to do. And then as you can tell, the paint job is, ugh. yeah, it's no good. So we need to do a little sanding, clear coat it, and then uh, we can dip it. Now I plan on two-toning dipping it. As you can tell, somebody tried to paint the wheels black and they look horrible. I'll have to strip those as well. New seats, of course, that's definitely on the list. I want to get uh, a newer bench seat from a newer S10. I do not want to go to a bucket seat. I like having the bench seat so I can get two of my kids with me in the truck. And then uh, the flatbed needs to be resurfaced, reconditioned as well. Of course, nasty ass spray can job on the wheels needs to be taken off on all four. I'm going to replace these old LED, these are some of the first LED taillights that you could get. They're like 10 years old, and man, are they trash now. Now, they were good whenever um, I first used them, but uh, they are burnt out all over the place. There's probably only three or four LEDs per panel that actually still work. And then, of course, the exhaust which I will get under here real quick and show you guys the hole I am telling you about. Ugh. See that? Nice little hole in the exhaust, which gives it that rumbly sound. Ugh. So that's the S10 for you. And uh, that's what we've got coming in the coming months. No engine swap on the horizon yet, but most definitely want to do that at some point if a uh, sponsor wants to pick up that project. So let's go ahead and talk about what you guys are going to be seeing over the next few weeks here on Drink Smoke Build. First thing is going to be the chicken coop restoration slash maintenance so we've had our chickens living in the coop for 
the last month or so, but now they are big enough that we're going to start letting them free range in the yard. Well, a sectioned off portion of the yard that we are preparing for them. But we definitely need to go through and do some repairs like this bottom panel here needs to be replaced and uh, some more screws put in because that is definitely a issue when it comes to large predators being able to get in. So we're going to be fixing that. We'll be sanding a little bit, but not a whole lot because most of it's still pretty good on the wood. And then, of course, we'll be restaining that or sealing that in. We're going to be recalking the coop. I'll be fixing that storm flap right there, as you can see, is broken. Let's see if we can get in there and take a look at the coop itself. Going to need to seal it up a little bit. The roof is actually in really, really good condition. I did a really good job four years ago when I put this together. And there are no leaks in the roof, just a little bit in the side. So we'll cock it up a little bit and uh, get that taken care of. But the biggest thing when it comes to the chicken coop is this tree that fell on it last fall. So I'm going to be cutting that down and getting that off of the coop as well. And uh, to do that, I'm going to have to move all of these little cars, these power wheels, which many of you might know used to have a power wheels salvage business and uh, would sell parts and stuff off of them. So I still have a lot of those left over. If anybody wants to do a bulk buy and buy them all for me, hit me up. I would totally be down. But I got to move a lot of the power wheels so I can get this big ass branch down. As you can see up there, broke off. And fell on the coop. So no damage to the coop though, but uh, definitely need to get that off. And moving on to the next project, which you guys have probably seen, is of course the garden boxes. And as you know, we were able to get some topsoil in them, but no compost. Minix Supply, which is the company that we go through, they cannot keep up screening with all of this rain and everything. So we've had three days of sunshine, supposed to have four more days of sunshine. So hopefully they get some batches out soon. That one's still empty. This one has the compost in it. Oh, look, we had a little bit of dirt to it today. And then another empty one. But anywho, so the garden boxes, the S10, the chicken coop, three big ongoing projects that we're going to be talking about here on Drink Smoke Build over the next couple of weeks, but the real big one. And look, guys, the playhouse is coming, but everything I do is really kind of importance in everything I do is really in level of important importance for my family, uh, gardening, food, herbs. That is absolutely at the top of the list. The chickens, eggs, all of that absolutely at the top of the list. Transportation to be able to pick up the materials and everything we need at the top of the list. So those three things are going to be priority. But once those are all squared away, the big one, the big fun one, is going to be the pool. The playhouse is going to be put off. Sorry, guys. It's going to be a while, maybe not even this year before I get a new playhouse built because I'm gonna be focusing all of my energy on building a DIY pool because as you guys know from my previous video, it is crazy out there. Absolutely sold out on above ground pools pretty much all over the country. I've tried multiple stores locally, Academy, Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, and then all of the local pool stores, and there just isn't anything available right now that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. People are jacking prices up, so I'm going to show you guys right here on Drink, Smoke, Build how to build your own.
and to do it cheaply. Only thing you'll have to buy that really is gonna cost quite a bit of money is gonna be a pump, a filter pump for the pool. I found one that is going to fit our needs for $100, so I'm gonna pick that up and I'm going to get started on this pool here within the next couple of weeks. But again, of course, it is fourth on the list behind the chicken coop, the truck, and the garden. So that's what we've got going on here. Lots of stuff here at Drink Smoke Build. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Mashy, mashy, mashy the heck out of those buttons, you guys. Really helps me out. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. That's the update on Drink Smoke Bell. Oh, wait, I'm not out yet? Oh, oh no, I promised you guys something, didn't I? I know, you thought I was about the end of the video. Like, but you were going to tell us something awesome. Yes, I'm going to tell you guys that. Um, but first, let's take a hit here and let's take a drink. <laughs> so first thing I want to let you guys know is that I am going to be uploading a video every single day right here on the YouTube channel. I'm going to be giving updates on Instagram and the Facebook page, but video every day right here on Drink Smoke Build on YouTube. Now, they may not all be project videos, they may be update videos like this, and there will be a lot of those, at least a couple of weeks, maybe three or four, but we're definitely gonna be having project videos as well, at least once a day, every day, right here on Drink Smoke Bill. But, what did you guys wanna know about? What is the big exciting news? So, I have been a reseller in the past, a picker, a flipper, lots of different names for it. I've done that in the past. I've supported my family that way. And when I got involved in acti activism two and a half years ago, I pretty much put that to the side. And I'm getting back into it because the activism thing is just not really my thing. It's not paying the bills. And what can pay the bills and is fun for me to do is to be a flipper. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. As a lot as you guys know, I have had a garage sale over the last couple of weeks to help with some funding for some picking money so I can go out and buy more items to turn around and sell. So I do have some stuff that is uh, in these tubs and whatnot that's left over from the garage sales that we had over the last two weeks but i will tell you this is easily a quarter of what i started with so i made enough money over the last two garage sales that i can now build up my inventory get my stuff posted online uh, locally on marketplace and craigslist and offer up and then of course um, eBay, Macari, and a couple of the other selling sites as well. So I'm going to be telling you guys about that. Now we'll be doing at least once a week. I'll be doing a video about flipping, about garage sailing, about thrifting, that kind of stuff. So that's it, you guys. I'm getting back into the reselling business. If I can sell something for you, or if you are looking to have your own um, flipping business or something like that, reach out to me. I'd love to work with people and. Uh, yeah, share the love. All right, you guys, it's been fun. It's Billy D on Drink Smoke Build, and I'm going to puff on out of here. I thank you guys for joining me for this update, and I'll see you in the next video. Much love. Peace out.